Today on High Now, it's Halloween, and we're getting our spook on. Halloween may look a little bit different, but we're going to take a drive through Habilitas Dead End the Asylum. Plus, even adults need a Halloween treat. Get this cocktail recipe garnished with candy. Then, the chilling legend of Hawaii's Night Marchers to end All Hallows Eve. This and more, right now on High Now. I'm Kainoa, but today we're Minions. Happy Halloween to everybody at home. Happy Halloween and big <laughs> mahalo to Party City for dressing us up today as these, you look awesome. Yeah, I was getting into character slowly as it was all coming together. I took a look in the mirror and said, let's do this. We are committed. However you guys are spending this holiday, we hope you're doing it with lots of candy. I can't lots of candy, this keeping up. everybody safe. And you know, obviously Halloween this year is gonna look a little bit different, uh, but we got the chance to check out the haunted drive through at Aloha Stadium presented by the Habilitas. Check it out. Those of you with queasy stomachs should turn away now. Hey guys, it's Halloween on ah. High Now. We know 2020 looks a little bit different, but that doesn't mean you can't get your spook on. That's right, so we're taking a drive through Habilitas Dead End the Asylum. Oh! This is Habilitat's haunted drive-through. We decided that we wanted to do something fun for the community that was CDC friendly, that was safe, that you could enjoy from the seat of your car. Why are they saying get them? What? Get them? Get them. Doctor's coming. Doctor! Go! Stop Stop it. Diamond. The residents came together and came up with a crazy, fun idea to have a haunted drive through Where's he going? So the theme this year is Dead End the Asylum. and you pull up into each scene, put your car in park, tune your radio to a certain radio station, and then the action just kind of goes on around you and you move from each scene like that. This adventure was too scary to tackle on our own, so Kanoi and I brought our families for moral support. This is a real deal. Although I don't know if that helped. From deranged doctors to escaped inmates, this haunted drive-through leaves you screaming from start to finish and has been a huge hit in the community, selling out every night since its launch. No, 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 no. No. It's been awesome. I think it's really fun to see people like screaming in their cars and it's, it's different because it's not like a normal haunted house, you know, where you just go with one or two people. It's like families full in the car, little kids, everybody's freaking out. So it's really awesome to see. And the proceeds generated from the haunted drive-through go toward helping those in need. So the program, um, we're a two and a half year substance abuse and vocational training program located in Kaneohe. So we've been around for 50 years just helping people who are homeless, incarcerated, and who are addicted to substances. We're helping them get their lives back. This generated a lot of funds so we can continue to pro provide scholarships to help residents get into the program. Woo! Yeah. Woo! That was scary. No. I ain't coming back. <laughs> Woo! Me too. Good job, good job. Awesome! <laughs> Listening to that made me relive it all over again. That was scary. That was spooky, but I gotta say, shout out to the actors. Oh, they're, they're amazing. They're amazing. Yes, it, it didn't feel like acting, and we got a big, big mahalo to Chris, our engineer, for bringing us some brownies in here, too. Exactly, chocolate on chocolate, and uh, as much as these chocolate brownies look good, you know it goes good with that. Wow. A little bit of a chocolate martini, oh. a little bit of Halloween martinis coming at you. This is courtesy of our boy Daniel Bruce at Roots Chris Steakhouse. Uh, check out this recipe. Hello, I'm Daniel Bruce from Bruce Chris Steakhouse. We're making a Halloween cocktail. As you know, Halloween, for the most part, it's about the candy. Lots of chocolate, lots of sweets. We're gonna make a chocolate martini tonight that'll go great with all your Halloween needs. 
Let's start off with two ounces of our Grey Goose Vodka. Two ounces of milk or cream if you have it in your house. With two ounces of cold brew with a little bit of chocolate in it. Add a little ice to that. Give it a nice shake. Strain that out into our martini grass. Garnish it off with a little bit of uh, crushed Oreos. Because who doesn't like crushed Oreos? There you have a nice Halloween chocolate martini. Happy Halloween. <laughs> wow, well, doesn't that look good? So shout out to Brucey for the cocktail, shout out to Bacardi USA for the great goose. Oh. We have that uh, Ono chocolate martini right here and he told me we gotta kinda do this little balancing okay. act here. That's gonna kinda mix it all up so the chocolate doesn't all settle at the And bottom. you poured some milk in there earlier too, yep, right? Yep, just a little bit of milk. Okay. Cold the best part about Brucey's cocktails, it's always stuff you got at home. <laughs> Come on now. You got milk, you got oh, chocolate, gosh. you got some cold brew Ooh. lying around, I'm sure. Oh, okay. Now don't forget the garnish, there's uh, Oreo garnish and because it's Halloween and we gotta get in the spirit, we gotta go with a little bit of candy, This is right? my kind of cocktail. We we'll go a little bit of... Try. Oh, oh, garnishing, garnishing. Oh, yeah. I think we were supposed to rim it, but okay. There we go. A little bit of candy. Sure, I'm Why gonna not? taste it, cheers. Cheers. Okay. Mm. It's like a dessert in a cup. That's smooth. That's really, it's dangerous. Yeah. <laughs> The vodka kind of gives you the kick and the milk kind of gives you the nice hey, balance with the cream. Thanks for this recipe. We'll have it all up on oh, HighNowDaily.com. Coming up. Everyone has their favorites and Fat Boys is definitely one of my go-tos. We're showing you what's on the menu and why it's where the locals eat. Don't go anywhere. Welcome back to High Now Weekender. This dine and shop pop-up is back at Aloha Stadium tomorrow. And in addition to delicious food booths, there's also a number of retailers with booths that you can shop at. One of them is Kei Kahili, the Royal Standard, which specializes in handmade jewelry and accessories. In fact, Kanoi's got some right in front of her. I do, and I'm actually wearing some as well. I mean, oh. no better way to make this minion costume really thrive than with this beautiful <laughs> jewelry, right? I wish I could do it more justice, but as you can see here, gorgeous, handmade with shells and pearls, and I've also got the matching earrings, and I am in love. But even more so, if you take a look at this table here, gorgeous stuff that they have, really just made by expert artisans right here on Oahu. And you can see that they have these gorgeous feathers, this hair pick here, and just with those nice embellishments of the pearls, it is so beautiful. I really have never seen anything like this at any of the showcases that I've ever been to. And uh, I think they are going to be, actually I know, they have live auctions on Facebook Live and soon to be on Instagram Live. And I'm gonna tell you what, this set here is the one that I will be fighting everybody for on those auctions coming up so make sure that you stay tuned for that um, they are actually rooted in the principle kahanu aloha which means the breath of life love embraced that. by love and that is something that we need now more than ever and kanoi the best part is i know a lot of time when we think about jury we're, we're always thinking about the wahine but there's some stuff out there for the kane too i've actually got one on myself That's beautiful awesome. fish hook right over here i like this too because it's it's practical yeah you know what i mean very very practical it's black it'll go with anything that's right very comfortable I'm it's have to get very my masculine one. that's what i love about it for the men's pieces and uh i don't know i feel like even there's some unisex ones if you take a look at this cuff bracelet i would honestly wear that and i could see a man wearing that as well so this is really amazing stuff that they have that really can go either way. And oh my gosh! Can Ooh. we take a look at this Tahitian pearl ring? How many are on there? One, two, three, four, five, six pearls! I can't even imagine the cost on that, but I really don't care because I need it. <laughs> and then this hat, oh my goodness. These gorgeous Beautiful. feathers. You can just tell there is so much love that goes into every single piece. 
and they're really just so unique. The colors that they use, they really pop, but then they complement each other at the same time. Oh gosh, I can't wait to check out that Facebook Live auction. You guys can actually find out more information on Kekahili, the Royal Standard. We'll have it all up on uh, our website. And then you can see that it, the Dining Shop pop-up happens at Aloha Stadium. This is Sunday, mm -hmm. November 1st from 8 a.m. to 1 p.m. I really love that they're doing this now, featuring all of these local food booths as well as um, you know these vendors and it's just an amazing place to go visit I think with family. Yeah that's right a lot of different things are going to be there. Gifts by Karen M is also back at Aloha Stadium. Uh, she makes custom handmade wire art and jewelry sold at very affordable prices. Her jewelry uh, it's got kind of a local flavor and it's crafted with materials from Hawaii like precious sunrise shells, Tahitian and freshwater pearls, sea glass, crystals and stones. So talented. She loves making accessories that are fun, easy and comfortable to wear. Uh, at the booth you'll find earrings, necklaces, bracelets and rings and her jewelry is also nickel free. So for those with sensitive skin like myself, Eddie. no need to worry. You can also find her online at giftsbykarenm.etsy.com. Uh, and while you're at the pop-up, don't forget to grab some food from Tipresso, Nico's, or Olay's Thai Express. We'll have more info on the Dine and Shop pop-up on HighNowDaily.com. Brought to you by Farmers Insurance Hawaii. Everyone has their favorites, and Fat Boys is definitely one of my go-tos. After all, it's where the locals eat local. Fat Boys opened at 1999. It was founded by Carl Ung. Ever since then, they built it up and then now they have like about five locations here. We're actually really known for our, our local food. Nice price, it's delicious. And one of our owners owns a fish book, so every day we actually have um, fresh fish. And we cook it in four different styles. Garlic butter wine sauce, tonsu butter, furikake style, and honey mustard. So Hawaii Guys is amazing because like it cooks food faster. It's Right there, you want it, you got it. We actually have fresh ahi every day. So one of our famous ones is our spicy ahi, limu, shoyu, our garlic. We got either taco, tofu, or even crawfish. So here in um, the Kalihi location, we actually started right before COVID started. It started out great, we had a lot of customers, and then COVID happened, but we're surviving. We have like our Laura customers coming in, helping us out, and we're so grateful for them. Currently, yes, we're only doing takeout. Any of our menu, we can make it like a big bundle of it. So we actually have a catering menu. Just look at our website at Fat Boys Kobe. All right, Carla. Well, this is my go-to, so I already know how that tastes. But what else do we have here? Another opal, but different style. So this is our furikake style. So it's glazed with um, sriracha, mayo, and our terry sauce. Okay. You know, my husband's a fisherman, but I can tend to be a little bit picky with my fish. You guys always get it right. Really good. The barbecue mix, kalbi, cherry chicken, and our cherry beef. I feel like this is one of those plates you can never go wrong with if you're hungry, right? Like you want a, a variety of something, this is the perfect one to go for. It has that perfect char on it. Yeah. That's really good. Our garlic chicken, okay. and it's one of our favorites, the one number one. If I don't order fish, this is usually my next choice. Mm-hmm. Exactly how you guys always do it. In our Kalihi bowl, we have garlic chicken, langanisa, and any kind of choice poke you want. So right now, it's limu poke. Oh. Now, you guys don't have poke at all your locations, because this one isn't at Hawaii Kai. No. Oh, OK. Only some certain Ooh. places, yeah. That is some fresh fish. This is a treat for me today because, like I said, we don't get this in Hawaii Kai. So in the Hawaii bowl, we have um, kimchi, um, garlic chicken, a cool pig, and then um, any kind of choice poke you want. And right now, are your choices is spicy. Wow, so it's like a little melting pot of flavors in here. Okay, well, we'll try the Kahlua pig. Perfectly salted, nice and tender. Well, this is awesome. Carla, thank you so much again for feeding me today. Yeah, no. It's I'm ready to take a nap. <laughs> All right, you guys can check out Fat Boys in one of its five locations. We'll have more info up on HighNowDaily.com. Brought to you by Hawaii Gas. Coming up on high now, we're at an Oahu staple. We're at Taniyoka's and we're tasting all the grinds. Plus, from monster cookies to macarons. Find out why the Aloha Confectionery here at Ala Moana is the ultimate sweet shop. Welcome back.
welcome back to I Know Weekender and happy Halloween! My partner in crime, Kainola, is over here dressed as my minion counterpart. <laughs> <laughs> Every time I pop up on the screen, I'm, I'm, I'm trying my best to keep it together. But happy Halloween to you and your Ohana at home. It's the first time the holiday has landed on a Saturday in five years, so you gotta celebrate. Obviously, it's gonna look a little bit different, but there's a lot of ways to have fun at home. That's right. How can we even take you serious right now? <laughs> you know? <laughs> Our uh, our Ooh. our association actually sent out a, a newsletter, you know, telling us some ways that you can actually, you know, have fun at home. Right. You can do a, a scavenger hunt with your family. You can watch scary movies. You can even, I don't know, have a little decorating thing with pumpkins or with right. candy or cupcakes, apples, whatever you want to do. So make sure that you do that. That'll be really. You fun. can go and go ahead and Google Halloween game night, and I'm sure there's a there you there's go. There's a lot that'll pop up. And of course, a big mahalo to Party City for hooking us up with these costumes. And speaking of celebrating, it's no Halloween without some sweet treats. And that's where Aloha Confectionery comes in. That's right. Kanoa got to try out some of their famous monster cookies. Check it out. Cupcakes, cookies, macarons, coffee. I have literally turned into the little kid at the candy store. And you can too, here at Aloha Confectionery. Aloha Confectionery was open 2018. So we are a family-owned business. We thought Ala Moana was the great location where we can provide our sweets to locals and also tourists. We wanted people to enjoy uh, different sweets and with our family recipe and different experiments. We're really, really known for our monster cookies. They're big and huge, unique. Also, uh, we're packed with both flavors. We have over 50 cookie flavors that, um, you know, you could get never get bored of. We recently add our new menu, which is, we call it chubby macarons. And then we also, some of them, it's filled with different flavors. So if you cut into half, you might see some surprise filling inside. And they're doing really great too. We are also very confident about cupcakes. Uh, you know, people have parties or, gathering, um, this will be good type to give out as, you know, gift now. Thank you. Awesome. Soft serve, it's very refreshing soft serve. We top it with island flavors, which is Hawaiian honey. We make our mango jam in the house and then pineapple banana and also everything is made here. It's really good. Mm. I have died and entered sugar heaven. Recently, we just added Dalgona Latte Crunch instead of the foamy ones. Okay, we have made Dalgona coffee before, but Dalgona Crunch? Mmm. And they're kind of like caramel, just like Hanito. I want to thank everyone to support our store right now. And our customer has been super great with us. I mean, we became, like some of them became friends. And so I really thank for, for like supporting us. I noticed the trend now is because we cannot have large parties. What people are doing is they want to give out. We've been doing individual cookie pack uh, to go. So if you call pre-order, we can pack it for you individually in a clear bag with the little logo stickers. We have Instagram. We post our flavors day before, what we're gonna have for the next day at Aloha Confectionery. So if you message us, we're really good at it. We're kind of prompt with those uh, taking orders. Today on Hainan, we're at a place that needs no introduction. For 42 years, they've been slanging out some of the best food in Hawaii. We're at Taniokas. Taniokas was opened in 1978. My grandpa and his friends used to fish. So my dad used to make pokey all the time. You know, just kind of grew up with it. I think he felt that there was a need in Hawaii at that time to open up like a pokey shop, to spread it around, to let everybody sample what Hawaii pokey is all about. And he had the vision to open up back then, and now it's like this huge market. If I have to describe our type of food, it's local style. Anything we would eat at home, is what we, we serve to our customers. It's made with love, very consistent. Our kitchen staff is excellent at the consistency. Our pokey is always fresh, always local. We try to serve the best to our customers. 
during this pandemic, you know, we understand and respect, you know, people's wishes of keeping their social distancing and ordering from home. We've developed an online store, panyokas.com, a wide variety of things that they can sell. So you can also purchase a, a wide range of you know, different types of gift cards as well. Thanksgiving is right around the corner. Have a, a wonderful Thanksgiving special meal. It's the sliced turkey, the gravy, the pineapple glazed ham, a famous spicy ahi on sushi rice, a homemade pumpkin crust, a homemade uh, cranberry sauce as well. It comes with the plates, utensils. You know, we scaled it down to fit families of, uh, to feed between four and six. The family is always about giving back and thanking and also supporting the community along with our customers. So they developed this new fundraising program. It's a stamp card. You sell it for $20. Whoever is selling it actually will profit $10 from it. You know, this is a really good fundraising program that you actually can make a significant amount of uh, fundraising funds for whatever organization you're at. Hawaii people are very loyal. That's what we're thankful for. Our employees, to our customers, the loyalty is unreal. But through COVID, the gathering number going down really hurt our type of business. So right now we're doing curbside. Behind us, we, we allow about four people in the store. Everybody else has to stand six feet apart outside to get in. The line moves fast because we are, our employees are stationed. They're really good at what they do. We're, we're very thankful. We are blessed. We're thankful to have good friends and good family. We're taking the Hawaii restaurant card. They can do either curbside, they can call in an hour before or the, you know, a couple days before, or they can come in and pay with it while they walk through our store. For Taniokas, our new hours for now, it's Monday and Tuesday, we're closed. Wednesday to Sunday, we open nine to two for walk-ins, nine to three for curbside. We'll have those hours for a while. So call 671-3779 to place your orders. We have a updated menu also. It's uh, taniokas.com. They can also check us out on Instagram at taniokas. We've been here 42 years. We're hoping to be here for 42 more. We're very thankful for the support. Brought to you by Central Pacific Bank. I can attest to that line moving fast. I stand in it all the time. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and you know, going and doing that segment, it just made my heart warm, you I know, love to, them. See, to see Taneokas. It's a Hawaii staple, and to see the community continuing to support them, and we need to continue to support our local business. Yeah, and that family is one of the most amazing families oh, out yeah. there. So, and you can't help but support them because their food's amazing. But so of good. Course, Fried chicken poke bowl, that's my go-to. Yes, and the spicy tuna, oh my <laughs> goodness, it is so good. So make sure you check them out yeah. at Taneokas. Sustainable Coastlines Hawaii is a local nonprofit with a mission to inspire local communities to care for their coastlines. We've been doing it for almost a decade now, and it was started with a group of eight friends in their living room who wanted to come together to clean beaches in Hawaii. Since then, we've removed over half a million pounds of debris from Hawaii's coastlines with over 35,000 volunteers, connected with 40,000 students in classrooms, and built an incredible core volunteer team of over 60 people who show up all the time to help us out. We are in the first ever Sustainable Coastlines office and eventually community center, education center, zero waste shop, and really a gathering place for the people of Hawaii to come and interact with our mission to understand plastic pollution, the work that we do on the beaches, and how they can be part of the solutions in the future. We've got some awesome new programs. Just this summer, we launched the Clean Beaches Start at Home program, which is trying to translate the idea that while, we, while we're on the beaches cleaning up, we have to do the work beforehand too. We want to make sure that we don't, we aren't always cleaning up beaches. So Clean Beaches Start at Home is about doing small challenges in your life that eliminate single use plastics so it doesn't end up on our beaches. We also have some really cool, exciting programs. We're doing a marine debris response program on our beaches where people can actually call in and alert us and we'll show up with the team to clean up the beach there and some new innovations in composting and plastics upcycling. Sustainable Coastlines was built on the beach cleanup and we love doing it. Unfortunately, with COVID, we've had to move away from some of the more in-person gatherings where we sometimes have a thousand people. So we're still doing small cleanups and as we start to reopen, people can definitely engage with us at the cleanups that we have in the future. But really, it starts with our day-to-day -day actions. So Clean Beaches Start at Home is one of those things where you look at the things that are in your daily life and think about, can I replace this with something that's reusable or just not use it at all? Those are the actions that are gonna make the change. There's also ways to get involved, just having a civic mind, understanding what the policy is that's going on in our state so that we can make a difference with our elected leaders and make the change at the source. 
Luckily, because we've spent a decade in classrooms across Hawaii, we have so many connections with the schools, with teachers, and so we're constantly asking them, what can we do in these times? How can we update our online activities so that you have an opportunity to still have your students connected with our mission? So right now we're working on website developments, interactive lessons that allow kids to still do the work of cleaning the beaches, but while they're at home and understanding the issues of plastic pollution. Our social media is really powerful, so at Sustainable Coastlines Hawaii on Instagram and Facebook, and then www.sustainablecoastlineshawaii.org. We have all sorts of information on getting involved, how you can donate to help our cause in the future, and really upcoming events and ways that people can be a part of our mission to inspire our coastlines to be cleaner. Brought to you by Sustainable Coastlines Hawaii. Coming up, it's the first ever mocktails event at the Hawaii Food and Wine Festival. That's right, and it's all virtual. Get a lesson from one of their master mixologists when High Now returns. Welcome back to High Now Weekender. It's time for another edition of Check Out and Take Out. And today we're featuring businesses you can find at Kahala Mall. That's right. And remember, with Check Out and Take Out on HawaiiNewsNow.com, you can always find out what restaurants and businesses are open in your community. First up is Magnolia Boutique and Gallery, Honolulu's go-to shop for thoughtful and unique gifts. The woman-owned business features works from over 80 local artists, including painters, wood turners, and jewelry designers. It's also Hawaii's only source for Annie Sloan chalk paint, the world's best furniture paint. Wow. Magnolia is open daily from 11 to 6, and it's celebrating 10 years at Kahala Mall by offering 10% off all online purchases in October. Amazing! You can just use the promo code HAPPY10. That's easy to remember. Now, up next, Island Soul is a local company that was started at Kahala Mall in 2011. They offer Casual footwear for the whole family from trusted brands like Olukai, which I love, uh, and even Birkenstock. They also offer their own collection of home decor and gifts, including their signature product, Longboard Letters. Oh. They work with local artists to create fun, different original designs, and best of all, everything made right here in the 808, locally made. Recently, they began to rebrand under their uh, new name, Coco Nene, uh, and their new holiday collection drops November 1st, just in time for the holidays. That'll be in-store and online. Uh, this will feature high-biz ornaments, a collaboration with other local businesses to offer limited edition ornaments uh, to celebrate Hawaii's diverse business community. I'll so to get some of for that. Finally, looking ahead to the holidays, add Thinker Toys to your shopping list. The locally owned toy shop is the perfect place to get educational toys for your little ones. It features tractors, fire trucks, and trash trucks from Bruder Toys. There's also pretend play from Melissa and Doug, building bricks from Lego, and magnetic play from Magnetiles. Thinker Toys aims to inspire the minds of children from infants to six years old and will instill confidence in their early child development period. You can find a full range of educational games, toys, and books to stimulate your child's creativity and learning abilities. You can find them at Kahala Mall or online at thinkertoyshawaii.com. So be sure to check out all of these local businesses next time you're at Kahala Mall. You can find more information at the checkout and takeout section on hawaiinewsnow.com. The Hawaii Food and Wine Festival is hosting their first ever mocktails event. They're partnering with Dietrich Insurance to reimagine Dietrich's annual Hawaii's Best Mocktails event as a virtual experience on November 5th via Zoom. It will be a drink-centric event where everyone can participate. And today we have one of the featured mixologists giving us a sneak peek of his mocktail. Hey everyone, I'm Kyle Reutner of Kohana Distillers. Thanks for joining me up here at the distillery where we make Hawaiian Agricole rum. Today we're gonna turn it on you a little bit though and do a mocktail. I'm gonna take fresh fruit, apple cider vinegar, and sugar and show you how to make something that can be the base for all kinds of different things. Our friends at Hawaii Food and Wine Festival and Dietrich are hosting an event on November 5th. We hope you join us for some mocktail fun then. But until that moment, Let's show you a couple tricks. I'm going to take some fresh fruit. So if you're following along at home, just grab some strawberries, pineapple, guava, whatever you may have. Take a mason jar, throw that fresh fruit on in there after you've cut it up. 
top it with some apple cider vinegar and you're gonna end up with a solution that looks just like this. All we're doing is infusing that vinegar with the fruit. I'm then gonna let that sit for about 14 days. At the end of the 14 days, I'm gonna grab some sugar, an equivalent amount of sugar, and cut back that infused vinegar. That's gonna give me a vinegar syrup of sorts. So this is gonna be a classic drinking vinegar known as a shrub. I'll take about an ounce and a half of that delicious shrub, pour it into my glass, add some ice, and then I'm gonna to top it off with fresh soda water. And that is going to be that nice, bright, vibrant mocktail that you've been dreaming about. So even when you decide to abstain, you've got something delicious. Don't forget to garnish it, because you'll have something pretty. And we cannot wait to see you at the Hawaii Food and Wine Festival event on November 5th. Until then, you've got something to tide you over, but we've got so much to show you. Cheers and have a good one. Okay, I think that looks pretty amazing. Now you can get your tickets from the HawaiiFoodAndWineFestival.com and sign up for a time to pick up your complete mocktail and meal kit from Feast Restaurant. It comes with all the ingredients that you'll need to mix along with Kyle and the other mixologists. Cheers. Brought to you by Cutter Ford. Coming up, Find yourself noticing bald spots or thinning hair? See how Elite Health Hawaii can help create a custom program for your hair regrowth. Details after the break. The 2020 general election is right around the corner and you should have already received your ballot in the mail. We're here at the Office of Elections Counting Center to get the ins on everything you need to know to make sure your vote gets counted. So if you didn't receive your ballot, you should contact your county clerk's office because you should have received your ballot in the mail. It's important to remember that ballots aren't affordable through the mail, so you would have to update your registration, make sure everything is current before you receive your ballot. So if you do make a mistake on your ballot, don't use whiteout, um, don't cross it out, don't initial. Call your county clerk's office, get a replacement ballot because the machines won't be able to read whiteout. Signatures need to match for, it to be, for your ballot to be counted. If it doesn't match or you didn't sign your ballot, you will be notified and you will have five days after the election to correct your, um, your ballot. It's matched to the signature on file, which would have been either um, your driver's license, when you registered to vote, or we sent out a, a signature update card earlier this year that voters, if they wish to update their signature, could sign it and return it. The United States Post Office is recommending seven days prior to the election, which would be the 27th. If not, you can go to a place of deposit or voter service center. Ballots must be received by 7 p.m. on November 3rd. There are places of deposits around the island. Voters can just go up there, drop their ballot off in a box. Um, it's contactless. Um, a lot of them are open 24 hours. It just depends on the location. It's if, in case you don't want your signature to go through the mail, you can just drop it off there. Those boxes are collected daily. It's safe and secure. So there are eight voter service centers located statewide. Um, for a list of those locations, you can go to our website at elections.hawaii.gov, as well as looking for a place of deposit. Um, we do have an interactive map that voters can go to and just look up to where they are and find their nearest place of deposit or voter service center. If you're not a registered voter, uh, you missed the deadline, you can register in person as well as vote on, at the same time. You know, we're taking all of the recommended CDC guidelines. Um, if, if you're feeling sick, don't go to a voter service center. Um, we're cleaning, social distancing, mask, mask are required. So once you mailed your ballot back, um, you can check online at our website, elections.hawaii.gov, to see if your ballot has been received, as well as download your I Voted sticker. Now this is where all um, the ballots get counted for Honolulu. They come here, they get processed, all the envelopes get opened up, and then they get run through the machines here. So the first set of results will come out um, shortly after close of voting on election day, which will be 7 p.m. And then the next one will be 10 p.m. And then after that, we'll have one the next day. So if you need more information about elections, you can go to our website, elections.hawaii.gov, or you can call our office at 453-VOTE, 453-8683. Brought to you by State of Hawaii Office of Elections. For those with thinning hair or those looking to rejuvenate it, Dr. Sanderson over at Elite Health Hawaii will consult with you to design a custom program for your hair regrowth. PRF or PRP has been used to uh, help people with joint injuries, with tendonitis. Basically what it is is harnessing your body's own healing powers to stimulate growth or healing in an area. 
So what we've done is we take that power, all the growth factors from your blood, and we put it into the scalp, and that causes regrowth of hair in the scalp. Just like it causes healing in joints and healing in the mouth, it's gonna cause healing and regeneration of the cells in the scalp. Anybody who has any level of hair thinning or hair loss can be a good candidate for it. We do an initial consultation where I'm going to kind of assess your hair loss, try to determine kind of what your reasons for hair loss are, what your extent of hair loss is, see if there's any other issues that we need to address uh, prior to doing the procedure as well. And then we kind of make a customized protocol based on each patient. Everybody's a little bit different, so this is individualized. Some people want to do everything they can to prevent hair loss or regrow hair. Some people, they just want to do the injections. They don't want to do stuff at home. But we have a whole regimen that we can set people up with. It includes topicals at home, it can include supplements at home, um, shampoos, conditioners, a laser helmet, all of those things in addition to the injections. Now for the injections, I'll do a blood draw. Now from the blood, I will take that and I'll take those tubes and I centrifuge those and I process it. And then when I'm done processing it, what I do is I take all the growth factors out of the blood. I take that growth factor and I take, it's a very, very small needle and we inject those into the scalp, all across the scalp or wherever you have hair loss or thinning, wherever you want to regrow hair, we're going to do those little injections. And we do several things that decrease the discomfort from that. And so most people find it very tolerable. People are always talking to me through the procedure. Nobody ever seems to have too much discomfort. Elite Health Hawaii's hair regeneration program is different from a lot of other programs out there for a few different reasons. One of the main reasons is that we use PRF as well as PRP, so the combination of those tends to actually gel where we put it. There's a lot of clinics out there that are just injecting PRP, and that works and that's good, but it doesn't work as well because it dissipates rather quickly. When we combine it with the PRF, then it stays where we inject it for slowly releasing those growth factors over time. We are the only clinic in all of Hawaii that has the proper machine to process that and make real PRF. The best way to get set up for a free consultation is to go to EliteHealthHawaii.com or to give us a call at 523-5483 or they can find us on Instagram or they can find us on Facebook. Brought to you by Elite Health Hawaii. Coming up, the deadline for mail-in voting may have passed, but you can still make your vote count. We're checking out the ballot drop boxes scattered around Oahu after the break. The United States Postal Service recommends that you get your ballot in via mail by October 27th. But if you miss the deadline, these official ballot drop boxes have been set up across Oahu. There's 12, making it easier than ever to cast your vote. Voters miss the mailing deadline. They have the option to just drop their ballot off at any of our 12 official ballot drop box locations. The Office of Elections also wants to reassure voters the ballot drop boxes are safe and secure. They have been open since we mailed out the ballots to voters. The official drop boxes are very secure. They are made of very thick steel. They weigh half a ton. They were made for outdoor use. They were purpose built for elections. After your vote is dropped in the ballot box, it's collected and verified. Our city election officials, they do come by daily to pick up the ballots and put them in sealed containers, then transport them to our elections airport facility. And that facility is where we're gonna start processing the ballot envelopes. So we do a validation process. We run the ballot envelopes through our scan and sort machine, which will scan a unique barcode on the ballot, which will help us validate the eligibility of each piece. That is also when we perform signature verification. So we just compare the signature on the ballot with a reference signature that we have of the voter which you know we get from when they get their driver's license or from the form that they submitted to our office to register to vote. Once we're done with that, we take the valid ballots that pass our process and we transfer them over to the State Office of Elections where they will open the ballots and then count them. Now the election is just days away and it's important not to procrastinate. Get your vote in and get it in early to avoid any complications. The process.
couldn't be more simple. I just want to remind voters to please make a plan to return your ballot because we must receive their ballot by 7 p.m. on election day for it to count. It's never been easier to vote by mail. You know, you just fill out your ballot at home, in the safety of your home, and you can mail it. Or if you miss the mailing deadline, you can come to any of our places of deposits. We have 12 and you can find them, all their locations online. And all you have to do is bring your ballot with you, drop it in that slot there. For more information on our ballot drop boxes or for hours and locations, you can visit our website, www.honoluluelections.us. Brought to you by City and County of Honolulu, Office of the City Clerk, Elections Division. Having a baby is one of the most exciting times for a new mother, but it can also be the most stressful time. So many questions, not knowing what to do. This is why HMAA created the Baby and Me program. Today we're hearing from two moms about their experience. The Baby and Me program was very important to me because me and my husband, we kind of struggled getting pregnant and we did our pregnancy through IVF. We have always worried about the baby, so. The Doppler is pretty much like a monitor where we can you can check up on your baby's heartbeat just to see if your baby's heartbeat is accurately beating the way it should be. It gave me a peace of mind. Having a free breast pump really helped for me. The most valuable thing was having the nurse check up on me during my pregnancy because she held me accountable and her intentionality of like morally supporting my pregnancy was amazing. It felt good to know that someone was there. She was relatable to like how her pregnancy was. It was like some refreshing to know that there was someone there that has had experienced the same thing as me. She actually checked up on me after I gave birth to see how that went. Being an older mom considered higher risk it really gave my husband and me so much peace of mind. And actually, this is my second time. It's something that I feel is designed especially for moms to be and baby. I felt very lucky to have a nurse. She was so caring, so thoughtful, and actually became a friend. She checked in with us on a regular basis. Any questions that I had, she was always there and that made a huge difference for, for my family. They also offer a Doppler to check in anytime on baby's heartbeat. And for me, this being our second time around, I have a three-year-old and that can be difficult when a new baby arrives, but being able to have her be a part of the process was amazing for us all. And actually now, she wants to be a doctor, so it works out. We also got a free breast pump, which is very helpful for me being a working mom. Of course, received the $250 gift card for diapers at Target. That was amazing. We're grateful for all of it. I would recommend it for any mom to be. The HMAA Baby and Me program is definitely designed to care for her whole family. Up next, if you live near the ocean, you may want to listen up. From land to sea, hear the tale of the night marchers and their path through Coco Marina, the legend when high now returns. complete without a scary story so brace yourself and grab your blankets if you need some. That's right and you'll hear them <laughs> way before you see them. In Hawaii we know all about the legend of the night marchers oh. and some have reported actual encounters with them uh, so that's sure to make you very scared. We reached out to Lopaka Kapanui uh, from Mysteries of Hawaii for one of these chilling night marcher stories. Ooh. Take a look. So everybody knows that when the night marchers are approaching and you haven't heard the sound of the conch shells or you haven't heard the chanting and you've already smelled the sulfur and you've completely bypassed the sound of voices in Hawaiian speaking out names. That's when you're supposed to take your clothes off, lie face down, hands behind the back of your head and you don't look. Everybody knows that. Except for the person who lived in Hawaii Kai near the marina. 
She said she was completely aware of a night marcher's procession coming that far. She knew there was one at Wailupe, at West Hind, one that came across Kauai Hai Street, and one even as close as uh, Calgary by the Sea. But she didn't think a night marcher's trail came as far as the marina. Until one night, when she got up and went to the kitchen for a snack, she was making a glass of water. And she said, as she drank it like this, and just turned around to lean up against the kitchen counter, she saw her son walking through the living room his hand up like this and talking to someone in Hawaiian, but they're not Hawaiian. They're not even from here. She drops the glass of water, runs into the living room, screaming her son's name. And the son is completely unaware of her screams, of her presence, just his hand like this, having a conversation in Hawaiian with someone that's not there. As my son is approaching the front door, the front door click, <laughs> opens by itself out to the driveway. There goes my son. The woman says she realizes at that point as she's running and screaming, she's not moving. She's actually doing it all in place. Something is holding her back. Finally, as the boy steps through the door out into the driveway, the hand drops and this wind comes right through the house. Of course, she said, I called a, a kahuna. The man came and said, you have a night marcher's trail that comes right through your house. So they're going right through your house and your son's room or whatever must be in their path. So they figure, you know, they take your son too. But the reason why everything would disappear one time soon as they got to the front door is because the water is right there. And then the kahuna takes the woman right to the edge of the front door. And they both kneel down, looking at the doorstop. Whoever went live this house before you went by him, they must be Hawaiian. Something would happen to them with the night marchers. This is all red pa'akai, Hawaiian salt. But look, the thing all flaky, so must be the Hawaiian salt from Hanapepe Kauai. Somebody knew get night marchers coming to your house, but they went already bless this part of the house. And the woman asked the kahuna, so you can't bless the house and stop the night marchers from coming through? No, no can. The Allah, the path is the path. No can change. You gotta change. And you let them come true. Saving the salt from Hana Pepe, and no yeah. one's allowed to eat it ever again in my house. <laughs> Mahalo Lopaka again for the awesome story. Gosh, he knows all the spooky stories about Hawaii. Incredible. Uh, thanks a lot for telling the one of where I live. She lives there. What in the <laughs> world? Oh my goodness, I'm not going to let my children watch that. And I am going home tonight and I am anointing my doors with oil. <laughs> with the holy water. All right, well, thanks a lot, everybody, for watching Hi Now. Remember, catch any of our segments again on HiNowDaily.com. That's right. Be sure to follow us at Hi Now Daily on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram, and Instagram and YouTube as well. Click that subscribe button. Now, next week, are you in the need for a staycation? See yes. why the Hampton Inn and Suites makes the perfect destination on Oahu's west side. Then a closer look at some new exhibitions at the Honolulu Museum of Art. How do you take us serious? We'll see you guys on Monday morning. <laughs> Happy Halloween. Bye, Bye now. Ha <laughs> ha